my name is Steve Hurd, and I work at the Public Safety Academy teaching fifth grade. Hi, my name is Maria Solis. I teach fifth grade at Anna Kyle. And my name is Cynthia Merrick, and I'm teaching uh, currently at PSA. I'm Lori Thompson, and I'm a first grade teacher at Anna Kyle Elementary School. Hi, my name is Shannon Balthasor. I'm Michelle Aldall, and I work at the Public Safety Academy in Fifth Street. Dr. Stacey Ryan, I teach third grade at Anna Kyle Elementary School. I'm Julie Reese, I'm the principal at Danner Road Elementary School. Hi, I'm Kristen Witt, principal at Fairfield High School, and prior to coming to Fairfield High, I was at Crystal Middle School. Well, first of all, um, I'm kind of phobic of technology. I have a tendency for it not to work when I use it. Um, I used to think that as a first grade teacher, the, that tech didn't really apply to me um, or to my students and that, that I couldn't really use it really well. And I have a master's degree in teaching with a specialization in educational technology. And while I'm pretty willing to try out new programs and software, I don't know every program. So I became a one-to-one -one teacher last March in, with iPads and I, I took on technology the way I take on everything else and I dove first and I was like, I don't know how to swim. So um, I, I reached out to my ed tech specialist who happened to be Josh Harris. The district has said that it's committed to bringing 21st century learning into the classroom. And the only way that that's been possible for me uh, with the workload that I have in the classroom is with the EdTech consultants. Um, I became a one-to-one -one iPad class a year ago and struggled and struggled and because of all the times he's come in and helped my students and helped me, um, we have been able to integrate technology into virtually every lesson. And he's also um, very passionate about working with kids. So when he comes in to teach lessons, he really can talk to the kids at their level to help teach them what they need to know about technology. Our ed tech Andy helped me take a rough idea and turn it into a lesson plan for emphasizing pronunciation skills uh, with the VoiceThread app. My students were enthusiastic about learning to use the new app. Josh has also come in and done one-on-one -on -one with teachers in the classroom, helping to plan lessons, helping to implement the lessons, uh, demonstrating how to do, use those techniques and technology in the classroom and overall helping our students become more proficient as well as our teachers. Um, he's helped me see that technology is not the end, it's the means to an end. We are teaching the standards, we're creating 21st century learners and this is, and technology is an indispensable tool. Now she's collecting data from the kids about whether they liked the cupcakes or not, she's making a Google form. She's eight and she's making a Google form. I know adults that can't make Google forms and the, the idea that she can even do that, that you know, the, the ability for me to say, you know what, go ahead and figure that out on your own and, and do this on your own and, and, and determine how best to do this project. I don't think I would have had that had it not been for the comfort zone that I had built in when Howard first gave me the iPads and was like, here, here's Josh, you know, here's here's Melissa, here's EdTech, here's, here's Gail, you know. They're my safety net. They really, truly are my safety net. I look at myself as being pretty digitally proficient, but you have no idea the leaps and bounds that proficiency has taken in the last year and a half, maybe two years. And it's because I have somebody who has my back. I have somebody who's researching how, how to do these things that I'm doing in the classroom now. Because if I had to try to figure it out on my own, I think I'd be overwhelmed. I also want to mention that my students know him by name. And they ask all the time uh, when he's coming back when he can help them, and they, if they're in the middle of a project, what they can do, or what he thinks they can do, to be uh, make their project even better. So thank you again, and thank you for the district for supporting us with these great people. Thank you. I personally rely on our ed tech specialist a lot, and my teachers now see such great value in that that we actually wrote it into our WASC action plan to continue to work with our ed tech specialist on integrating technology in the classroom. So for us at Fairfield High, we see great value in the ed tech specialist. That ownership of what they're learning, has, I've never seen that before in, th in, in any grade that I've taught. And I taught second grade and third grade, and this, you know, I'm going into my 12th year of teaching, and I, I subbed for three or four years before that. And, I just, I think putting technology in their hands is opening up a world that they would not have otherwise. And, and I think that um, having the foundation to do that and having the building blocks to be able to say, this is what you're doing and, and, and you know, go show me. As I'm teaching them that, that's what my ed tech teachers are teaching me how to do.